All right. We are live. Hello, everybody. Wow. About time. God. I know, fucker. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes, we can no. hear you now. <laughs> so welcome back to Two and a Half Men. And me and Yeti are the men, and there's half one. <laughs> <laughs> they're not me. Oh, she'll 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 uh, defrost after a while. So yeah, what's going on, everybody in chat? We got that white guy, smoke forty two vape. Billy vapes hard, vaping with vaping and vibes with Tom. Hello, Train Sonic. What up, dog? Zachary Johnson. I don't know why I said that. What up? What up, <laughs> dog? I don't really talk like that. Dog. So. What up, dog? What up, doggy? Doggy, doggy, doggy. Uh, yeah. What up? Hell yeah. So yeah, so we're here. There's not a lot of us tonight. What up, um, white every, guy. Everybody's sick. Um. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Come on in, gizzard. Fuck, we need all the help we can get tonight. <laughs> We need all the help we can get. There's a link in the group chat, Giz. I can send another one directly to you, too. Let me make that happen. Gizzy Giz. Gizzy, 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 Giz. There he is. Who is that guy? Yeah, right? Who is that? Who's Giz? I've heard the name. I've, I've, I'm familiar with the name in theory. Never met the guy, though. Okay, I sent you a link. You need to turn your microphone down a little bit. You me? Are, yeah, you are hot. What? I don't know how to... <laughs> I never went on mic on this. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> how about now? I don't know. It's talking how, how about now? It's still pretty loud. It's about the same. Yeah. Now? <laughs> yeah. Now? Yeah. I don't think she's doing anything. Like, she's just going now. Yeah, she's going now. <laughs> now? I, I have now. it almost to mute. That's a little yeah. better. I don't think it's controlling. Yeah. Just move it away from there. Now. Yeah. Sounds better. You probably move it a little bit closer. <laughs> yeah. Sounds okay. You're a little quiet. You might want to move the mic a little bit closer to your face. Now? Yeah, sounds good. There Perfect. you go. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> oh, here comes Giz. Oh, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> gizzy, 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 giz. <laughs> You're muted, Giz. You're totally muted, brother. Oh, there yeah. Better. Better? Better. Hey Juan. Hey Juan. What up, Juan? What the hell is that? How you doing, Giz? I'm still getting over the crud. You guys How all you? sick from the convention, huh? Yeah, we got the alien virus. I'm still kind of puny. All got sick. Oh yeah. That sounds a little suspicious to me. <laughs> Very they, suspicious. They had a long goodbye kiss to kind of spread it around. Who's who's okay? Who's living underneath the freeway right now? I don't know. I, I think you know. Oh, that's me. <laughs> okay. All right. Good to know. At least now we know who, who to blame. Okay. So yeah. So um, the ogre under the bridge. I kind of want to talk to these guys a little bit about uh, Detroit. They were, you guys were both able to go. I wasn't. I was super jealous. Um, talk a little bit about that. We weren't. We were didn't do a show last week. Um, cat keeps going up and down in the fucking window and disturbing me. I want to go to You're gonna end up sick. 
I felt fi I felt fine the entire weekend until I stepped off the plane. As soon as I stepped off the plane at home, I swear it's like I walked through something. I mean, as, as soon as I got into the airport, I got this queasy feeling in my stomach, and it, it just went further south. It's closer I got to home. <laughs> That'll do it. Sometimes when you go to like, like, I usually get sick if I go to like places that are different than my climate. Like if, because I'm from the city. If I, I used to go to Pennsylvania in the mountains all the time to visit my family, and every time I got sick, mm -hmm. I was sick for like few days before I first got there. I, I guess I, my body was just not used to fresh air. <laughs> it was like I don't believe it. Nah. Anytime, anytime the seasons change, I used to get fucking sick. Like from okay. summer to winter, winter to fucking spring, I would sick all the time. Moving here, I've been having runny nose ever since. Like, I don't know, maybe just the mountains. I don't know. I'm it's, all the, it's all the pot. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm allergic to pot. No, there, there is like a lady that I work with. She moved from I might be allergic somewhere. to pollen from the pot. Yeah, no, that's what it was. Yeah. She came, she moved to Mendocino County, and um, all the fucking blooming uh, marijuana totally made her fucking allergic. Wow. She did not have a good time. Like it's it's like ragweed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> totally, though. Honestly. Um, you can smell it. Like, when you drive through, uh, like, coming into town, there's there's just so much pot here. So, you can smell I love it. that smell. Yeah, me too. I In think theory, I like it. it. Either that or it's Ziggy, because that's, it's, Ziggy's the first long-haired cat I've ever owned, and it's about... Around the same time, it's my nose started. You just want to blame him for fucking everything. Cats are not cats are not good for me. I'm allergic to cats. It's weird because I'm not like my fur hair cat. I didn't have a problem with. It's just I guess Ziggy's hair flies around too much. All day big brings up a good point. Something that um as a is like a big thing that I always tell people who are still smoking whenever they get sick, like they get into like a bronchitis and shit. Um, he said. Ever since I quit smoking cigs and weed, I rarely get sick. Um, I'm 100% on board with that. And there's a lady that I work with. She just got um, really bad bronchitis that ended up like, she ended up fucking getting um, some crazy, where she was coughing so much that she like burst part of her intestines and shit. Had to Man. go for surgery. And um, it's 100% from smoking. Bronchitis is a smoking disease. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've noticed uh, I hardly get sick anymore. So that when I do get sick, then I'm really a baby. I think I'm freaking dying and stuff. I'm not mm -hmm. used to it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get sick hardly. Probably one tenth of the amount I used to when I was smoking. smoking I don't is so get as fucking bad for you. Head colds all the time when I smoke. It's so rotten for you. Okay, so um, let's just get this shit started. Uh, what's everybody been vaping on? Who wants to go first? You guys probably have some new shit you've been vaping on since the conventions. <laughs> I got a new atomizer. The Twisted Messes 24 Pro. Lucky. Oh, I'm jelly. Where is it? Focus. Focus. It never, never wants to focus when you want it to. Of course not. Then anyway, it'll, anyway. find, it'll, find, like it'll find something in the background to fucking focus, focus. on. So anyway, and that, I have that on the Dreamer, and it's kind of my uh, dreamy setup, all gold yeah. and stuff. And uh, like in it. there, I'm like I'm vaping some DIY from Fresh O3. Nice. Uh, uh, really good liquid that's um, orange marmalade and like a wedding cake, white cake. Oh yeah. yeah quite tasty that's just a good idea a wedding cake flavor with marmalade cakes with marmalade yeah well i like that idea it sounds good it's nice. it's, it's quite quite good the man knows how to make liquid oh yeah he does uh, and, and that's all i got that's my entire buffet for this evening <laughs> nice keep it simple I've been vaping this stuff. There was this, uh, it's a, a manufacturer was walking around there. They didn't have a booth, but was walking around, and I got a sample of uh, a Door e-liquid. 
this show called Not From Concentrate. <laughs> this shit is fucking awesome. <laughs> I've been vaping a lot of that. A lot of that and this other one called Pure Peach. Never Can't heard of enough. Adore. Never heard of Adore Never heard of it. No, uh, go check it out. It's, it's www.adoreeliquid.com. <laughs> go check them out. <laughs> they got some, uh, some really cool uh, cotton threads. Over there on that side as well. I freaking love these things. You like them? Yeah, the yeah. cotton in this, this cotton is fucking awesome. I love this cotton. I've been Tur seeing someone, they were giving it away in some package. I forget what it was. I think it was, oh, we were watching a lot of, oh, sorry, Bait Box. Or, what is it called? You move your mic away from your face. Bait Box? There you go. Or whatever it's called. Them subscriptions that you get like juice and hardware. Yeah, well, they like were giving, yeah, something like that, but it's like sixty dollars because you get hardware also. And they were giving away in one of the boxes um them cotton wick things that you got. You can get them at a Dory Liquid now too. I, I tried the unicorn ones and I I wasn't too I I didn't really use it very often because I'd like doing my own cotton, but it goes, it's an easy thing to do, use if you're on the go. It's, as, e it's as easy as tying your shoes. <laughs> it's actually easier than tying your shoes. But. And I don't understand that marketing because it's it's a little bit easier. That's my that's my tagline that I made up. <laughs> what I like about it is that you always hear people. Like that's one of the most frequent questions I get is like, I don't know how to wick this tank, or I don't know how to wick I don't this, know how I don't know how to wick that. Yeah, I don't know how much to use. I had the worst issue putting too much cotton. Uh, I was always burning up my cotton because I was just mothering my coils with cotton. How much? How much do you get in a pack? Twenty pieces. Wow, that's pretty good. See, that's better than um, unicorn wicks. You only get, I think it was twelve. They didn't have very good cotton either. So that was and, a problem. Yeah, well, I couldn't use the rest of them because they t smelled like perfume. They got. <laughs> During the move, they were in the perf perfect. But what I did notice is you can take those little fucking um, whatever the name of those little uh, plastic pieces that are on the ends. You can Fluid take them off. Binder. There it is. You can take those off and uh, reuse them on your own cotton. That's what I was doing with the ones from the unicorn wicks. But they, uh, I found like like on say like a, a goon or a twisted messes, um, and you know just like a, a regular build, you can just one of these. Will feed uh, both coils. Go around. Well, you go around. Well, you, you, you pull it, it through and cut one and a half. That's okay. what I do. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. What's up, Scott? Black cat in the house. Saturation station too. What's going on, everybody? Um, yeah, I want to try them. I definitely want to try. Someone's give, they're giving them away on Facebook. Yeah, oh, they're doing a big push with. Uh, I'm gonna with, look it up. Trying to get them out right now. So I'm getting um, some free cotton. I'm down with some free cotton. We have cotton. a coffee. Cotton. 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 Yeah. cotton. What is it called? Cotton wick? It's called cotton. C O T N. It's it's spelled just how you say it. Cotton. 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 Let me bread. tell you, let me tell you. Fucking magnificent. Fucking magnificent. Church, what's happening, brother? Um, I'm always into trying new new wigs, but um, I'm a cotton bacon guy myself, and I probably always will be. Oh, Have you tried yeah. the new cotton bacon stuff? Yep. Prime. <laughs> yeah, they got a, They have a new product too. Yeah, I've actually oh, done uh, testing. Was... I did testing uh, to see the V2 versus. I have a video that's coming out pretty soon, but a V2 versus the Prime. The Prime actually absorbs in the same amount of time. It absorbs more volume. Um, but it's, it absorbs it a little bit slower. And so um, it's a little bit more dense. The cotton's a little bit more dense. Uh, but so, I mean, I like it a lot. It's, it's pretty, pretty similar to V2, except it definitely will absorb more volume by, by quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really like it. I just got a little sample pack. I've already flown flown through it. I really like I like it more than the, the uh, uh, V2. Yeah, There's just something about I it. I don't know what it is. It holds up better. It's it's way more dense, and so it holds up way better. Like with like like a stack mods, series mods, 
um, really hot builds, it'll hold up way better under that kind of shit. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of it. It's another one too, where it's like, uh, it's pre combed. Yeah. So you really, you, once you pull it through, you don't even need to fluff it. You just chop it off and yeah. stick it in there. Cause okay. they've, they've, uh, mastered the art of getting all the, uh, threads or whatever run in the same direction. Yep. Which, I mean, it's, it sounds like probably to like most people that sounds so boring, but to me, it's like, how the fuck did they do it? It's genius. You know what I mean? It's way, really is genius. The way they combed it out. Yeah. Pre-combed. I'm, pre-combed. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of cotton bacon. I think these guys, um, in my opinion, have some of, not just some of the easiest cotton to work with, but it's some of the best quality cotton. Like, uh, it's like the only cotton, I remember when I first got the original cotton bacon, it was the first cotton I'd ever had where you can just put it in, put liquid on it, and, it, and vape. Like, I didn't have to blow it off and didn't have to fuck with it at all. Just vape. Mm-hmm. And um, that, at the time, was pretty rare. Uh, nowadays, most of these premium cottons are pretty similar, you know, so. But I still prefer cotton bacon. What's going on, Pippa? Pippa. It's funny when you say Pippa, because that's, um, that's what meth heads will call their meth pipes, a Pippa. Oh, really? A little inside right. knowledge from my, from my days under the bridge. Shore Vapor, what's happening? Wow, I didn't know that. Now you do. I'm certainly not referring to her as a crack pipe. <laughs> no peepas in this show. Not with uh, Mr. Drop the Shame Yeti in the, in the fucking panel. If you guys don't know, uh, go check out Yeti's uh, Drop the Shame show. And uh, yeah, I don't want to don't give too much away, but you go check it out. It's on his channel. It's awesome. Awesome. Bleeding awesome. Um... Tony, what's happening? So, yeah, okay, so I'll just say what I've been vaping. Um, I got some new stuff. It's um, surprisingly good. I was really, really surprised. This is um, from the rapper Birdman and Cash Money Records. Uh, They have a line of (laughs) e-liquids. It's called Stunna, and it's uh, Cash Money is one, and this is a bourbon vanilla custard with some other shit in it. I don't really know right off the top of my head, but... Basically, main, the main notes are like bourbon and vanilla custard and, uh, yeah, it's a real creamy kind of cigar-esque vanilla custard. And then they have this liquid gold, which is uh, real, real fruity. It's like a strawberry watermelon and uh, apricots, and it's real heavy with apricot. I'm not a huge fan of this. I mean, it's good. I'm just – it's not my flavor profile, but uh, this shit is fucking actually really good. I was really surprised. Vape Craft is actually the ones making it. Um, but it's, yeah, Birdman, Cash Money Records. Who would have fucking thought, right? I don't know if this is like the first, um, I don't know if it's like the first uh, e-liquid made by, um, you, no, because Guar has that thing with, um, with uh, Mount, Mount Baker. Baker. Yeah. yeah, Mount Baker. But this is like the first rapper I know of that has done some kind of e-liquid. So, yeah. So, you guys want to check it out? It's uh, You can find it on Vapecraft. And I highly recommend this cash money. It's actually really fucking good. Oh, yeah. So, I've been there. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you do a, a review on Sweet Pea yet? No, I've been vaping it um, because it's something I really – because I really want to get – I want to get my head around it. It's yeah, good. Well, it's weird, isn't it's really it? It's really it's weird. It's really, really weird. Yeah. But I've been vaping, vaping, the, vaping them sweet potatoes, eh? I like so delicious. It tastes good too. I love sweet potatoes in general, anyways. Like sweet potato pies, shit like that. And yeah. so um, I kind of had a feeling I was going to like it, but um, yeah. Get out of here! Get and I do. I did. Yeah, I've been waiting for you to put up a video on that one. That's the next one out of the out of the, out of that group that I'm definitely going to do a video on. I think that I have him uh, talked into sending you some, some more goodies to Travis. So. He did. He did uh, comment on uh, one of the videos, which was nice. Yeah, you should probably be getting some more goodies. Excellent. So I got apparently I'm getting schooled here that there's been a lot of rappers and DJs and shit that have released their own e-liquids. DJ Khaled, which of course that motherfucker made some e-liquid. Um, DJ, somebody named DJ Marshmallow. 
And Slippy Syrup is by a noise artist, Narwhals of Sound. Okay. Mm. And Wonka is still said, DJ Khaled's line is actually really good. I, I'll take your word for it. Um, so I've also been playing with this. Uh, this is a very controversial little toy. I think Yeti would actually really like this. I love this I thing. I want that. Oh, man. you! I mentioned you in my review of it. Uh, I, yep. I even said, Yeti, you got to get one. Um, it is such That's a fun awesome. It's a dual atomizer series mod. You can't it's find them anywhere. You can't find them anymore. Heaven Gifts is, has them. That's where I got mine. Okay. And um, it, it's cool. I mean, you can turn off either one of the either one of the atomizers. There's a little switch on the bottom to turn off either side. And you can use it on. And you can theoretically use it with a different atomizer and use it with just one atomizer. I don't know why you would. Um, it's to be used with dual atomizers. It's fucking rowdy as fuck. It's a quad. It's basically a quad coil series mod and it's fucking yeah. ruthless and um it took me a minute like at first i thought like this is really stupid i'm never gonna actually use this i took this to work the other day it was like the only thing i took because once you get a good build in there and you get used to the amount of fucking vapor you're getting it's super comfortable i yeah. really 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 enjoy it um you know it sucks that they, they both of these decks that they put they have like two little um velocity style decks on here but these this top cap you can't separate you have to use yeah both lids which is kind of stupid but i mean it even looks nice it doesn't look shitty it's very clean it's got like a textured surface ah oh, it's nice you would love it yeti you would absolutely love it are you doing a review on that thing i already filmed the review i just gotta upload it i'm like actually that's the one i'm editing right now is uh, the review for this yeah they they because uh, they got in trouble well they didn't get in trouble but they got some back backlash with that one so they've gone back and they redesigned it and now they've got the uh, RTA version of it, which ah. I think is ridiculous. That's so stupid. But here's and it's what, not here's, in series either. Here's one of the reasons why it's going to get some backlash. It says yeah. starter kit. You can't really yeah. see it on my camera, but it says starter kit here on this. Um, and I go into that during my review. Is like, this is so not for starters. Like, Please That's do good. not buy this if you don't know anything about series mods to begin with. <laughs> yeah, I, I would never suggest, first of all, series for a beginner never and on top of that never anything that has dual decks that's yeah. just <laughs> that's just more shit to get confused i mean when i first started building i was having a hard time making dual coils you know getting dual coils to glow up and you know yeah. let alone two at the same time you now know four? yeah <laughs> and then like series you throw series on top of it Four coils with eight volts putting through them. You got to, you yeah. know, but here's the thing, okay? So part of me is like, yeah, that's stupid. It's never what I suggest for a beginner. However, um, if you, if it's somebody who wants to try series mods, this is a good first series mod because it has built-in protections. You cannot, it has an ohm limit, right? With both decks going, you can't go below 0.2, which is, Still a little bit low, but you can't go below 0 0.2. And so there is a limit. It won't let you fire just any fucking coils, um, which yeah. unlike, unlike a fucking tube series mod, you can put you can anything. You put can anything. Your face right yeah. off. There's no fucking protecting yourself. Um, with this, there is an ohm limit, and there is a battery limit, too. Like, once the batteries get to about 3.5 volts, it just won't fire anymore, which I think is great. I think it's really, really great, you know, to have that little bit of protection where it's saying, like, like, uh, I don't know, you know, you might want to fucking change your batteries. So, yeah, um, I love it. This is personally, I, I use it every day. Uh, I thought I, I thought it was going to be super stupid, but it's super cool. I like it a lot. So I've been vaping that. Oh, cool. You guys both got the gold right. ones, huh? Um, yeah, Squid Dude cut us a deal. I was just wanting to see my, the new camera actually works. It's nice to focus on something. You look so much better with your new camera. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, it's, clean, it's cleaning you up. Um, so, yeah. Um, you guys got to see Squid Dude? That's cool. Yeah. The dude. Yeah, he, uh, he liked my uh, – he's been liking my uh, a lot of my posts lately. And my new um, – he was, like, the first one to like my alien posts where I posted my new aliens that I built. I bought my atomizer from Squid Dude. I know. Twinsies. Yeah, I got a I got a really rare follow the other day, fucking Mindforge. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. That was cool as shit, man. 
Um, uh, the name of the mod is uh, the Bi Turbo Mech. The Bi Turbo Mech. It's by it's by Tesla, and uh, I'm a huge fan of Tesla. So I like Tesla, but that thing's magical. <laughs> it's a little bit magical. <laughs> it's a little bit magical. Um, uh, oh, yeah. so, been vaping that. I've uh, been vaping uh, like these cash money things. I've been vaping this. Um, this was sent to us by one of Panda's fans. It's called Preem. Can't really see it. It's Preem. It's a uh, yeah. Pebbles pudding. I one of my fans, um, Summer and um, Jewel, my partner. They didn't like it, so they passed it on. <laughs> and this is one that um, I think that uh, what's his name, uh, Paul Hessian. Yeah. Was saying I don't remember his name because he's never on the show anymore. But uh, and he he liked it a lot. I find it kind of boring. It's a little bit soft on flavor, but I I've been vaping it. It's all right, especially with like the bi turbo mech. It's a good fit for that. It didn't make me want to keep going for more. I was like, eh. Yeah. I've been hard. actually um loving the from the dirty grin from Tony B. I love it. It's the, my favorite Fruity Pebbles, like, by it's really far. It's yeah, really good. I won't even let Travis have any. <laughs> like, mine. Ooh. No, literally, I like, try to, like, take, like, one fucking vape on it, and she's no, like, No, no, no. I love it so much. Like, I, I, I asked them, I said, can I have a box of that? <laughs> box in the next, or three bottles, please? <laughs> And I've been using this. Uh, this is my new favorite mod of all time. This is the US One from Trinity Glass. I fucking love this thing. I just absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and I got some. I got some coils from my man Wire Freak Eighty um, Three. He sent out some uh, alien coils and shit. And um, yeah, they love it. Right I'm low. Who said you're low? Oh, Kenny B. Okay. Well, you said it loud to me. Well, Travis is a little soft. <laughs> what? Chevy man, you better. Oh, in oh, divine. Shit. Yeah, I got some of them last weekend. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, you guys got to hang out with the old divinester, huh? That's yeah, cool. he was he was my bunk mate while we were up there. It was uh, it was pretty cool getting to hang out with, well, the hell everybody. Yeah. But it, it was really cool because I I looked up to Nick for since Coil Wars. I mean. I was pulling for him all the way through the first the first coil coil wars, you know. So that that was pretty cool, you know. That you got yourself a little cuddle buddy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that the fucking guy is is such a genius when it comes to yeah building. He's just got such an imagination. I just I just love I just love his his whole thing on Instagram and shit. It's just amazing. He's such a great guy. Period. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this, this thing. Yeah, and that's something. That's something that we find in the vape community is that like all these people who we like look up to when we actually get to meet them, they always. It just seems like everybody always turns out to be really just solid dudes and solid people in general. So, get on there. This is. Uh, uh, we're in oh, for a fucking treat now. Close up mode. <laughs> this is a uh, a coil that he sent sent home with me. Come on. I'm trying. I'm shaky, damn it. Oh, shit. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a pitchfork variant. It's pretty damn neato. But I looked at it, like, real close, man. It's super fucking clean. Super clean, man. You know who posted a really crazy fucking, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Bones the Skata. If you guys don't know Bones the Skata on Instagram, his latest build that he posted was. Do you yeah. see that shit on Instagram? Yeah. It's fucking crazy with the helix yeah. wire going down the middle and shit. Oh, yeah. that was one of the cleanest builds I've seen in a really long time. So, um, sorry, Warren. Just so that you're you're correct, <laughs> it is Ned. I don't know who Nick is. I, I, that's hilarious. That's what the N stands for. Is Ned Divine? Yeah, it's been renamed. <laughs> Ned. Vivian Vandy, what's happening? Yeah, Vandy was there. I, I, I Ned, Ned actually built the coils in here for me in Detroit. 
stainless steel aliens, put them in. He, he, even, he even installed them for me. Yeah, it's, it's ironic when uh, <laughs> when when Ned Devine is there, nobody wants Yeti water. <laughs> <laughs> I I came home with almost as many as I left with. <laughs> Yeti was just hanging back. He was sandbagging. He's like, ooh, if, if I sit in this corner, maybe I won't have to build anything. <laughs> Weren't you, Yeti? That's the truth. No, I don't mind. I, I love building. I've already got your shit built. I had it built the night I got home. Oh, did you? Yeah, before you, I, was, I needed to build. I was four days without building. Nobody wanted me to build anything. <laughs> before, I know that, that what happens at these things, though, is it's like a whirlwind, right? And you forget, you know, I had a couple things in my bag that I intended to give out, and you just forget to even get around to doing it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're so uh, wrapped up in the moment with meeting all these people and having fun that sometimes you forget, you know, to even yeah. take care of business. Yeah, that's yeah. something that's, that's a big reason why I think that next year, I think that me and, and uh, Panda are going to fly out to Detroit. Because it seems to be like that's the one where most people that I would be interested in meeting, that's like the one that's closest for everybody to go to. So I think that I'm, we're going to try to make it next year. Um, just fly in, do the event, and then and then come home. That's definitely it. Seems to be the the family event, you know. Like, yeah, it's the people that you're hanging out with are a lot more important than the event. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And yeah. once you once you've been to a few of these things, um, the the excitement of running around the actual event and that stuff kind of wanes. In my because, it's, because it's the same so, the same vendors that go to every event, and so once you've seen right. all the stuff they're going to show for a few events, it's like okay, you're right. It's all about going to hang out with people at that. Well, point. see, I think like my uh, Detroit last year was my very first one, and it was exciting. You know, the whole thing was exciting, and then after you've been to a few of them, uh, it's more about the people and hanging out with your friends and. Um, yeah. you know, it's way more about that than, than, uh, I don't know. Than buying some yeah. new wood and talking. Yeah. About or, you know, it's like going to a car show or something, you know, it's like, if you've been to a few car shows, you've, it's not that exciting after a while. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. So, uh, here we go. Uh, Yeti, Billy, the kid lives in Iceland. And wants to know uh, if you, if anybody has any um, awesome coils for RDAs that aren't too expensive and not cheap, but also ship worldwide because he lives in Iceland. Mm. Yeti will ship to Iceland. Will Yeti ship to Iceland? That's the question. Sure he will. Yeah. So there you go. Billy the Kid, go to uh, www.yetiwire.com and you can get yourself some coils. Yeti will put a link in the, the chat right now. And they are, they're not cheap, but they're also not expensive. Cheap meaning quality wise, cheap. <laughs> there you go, boom. From from his door to yours. Here So what's the laws like in Iceland? Are they governed by the, the TPD? No, right? They're not, no, they're not no, part of the European Union. Right? So. No. We just put ju we just put jewelry wire on the <laughs> package. Yeah, honestly, I'm mean, like a fucking. No nicotine in a fucking coil. No. Bastards. Artistic coil art. That's what you're getting. Definitely. <laughs> it's non-vaping related. Totally non-vaping related. What you do with it when you get it, that's, that's up on to you. you. If you happen to put that in something and, and, and light it up, that's totally on you. Yeah. I prefer to wear it as a nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, uh, flashlight filaments. Yes. Yeah, there you go. That'd be a fucking nice light. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, Billy the Kid, I hope you check him out. And um, I hope you enjoy his coils because they're fucking awesome. Super fucking awesome. <laughs> that was the other thing I was going to bring up. There was a lot of sporking going a on lot. in Detroit. A lot of sporking. Did you get rid of, you get rid of that, whole, that whole rack of sporks that you had? I gave out 99 sporks. God damn. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. So there was a lot of sparking going on. 
people were coming up there like, how come I didn't get one? <laughs> like, I don't know. Do I know you? <laughs> Who the hell are you? Are you subscribed to my Instagram channel? <laughs> see, here's a here's a little. Um, see, you're saying nobody wants Yeti wire. David Settles says he enjoys all of his e-liquids now more that he uses Yeti wire coils. Of course. <laughs> I think all my um, all my RDAs have Yeti wire in them. Most of mine do. Except one. <laughs> Most of mine do too, except for this one Ned built. Yeah, I've got a I've got a Ned build and a saturation station build. I have uh, this one goon, has aliens in it. Uh, goon food is the last one I have from Yeti. Ooh, yeah. that's I, a I good. I won't take it out of, out of there until it's just falling apart. I haven't even I, got to use my goon food because every time I used it, but I, but I only vaped it for like a day because every time I get a new cat for it, it ends up breaking. She's broken but, four. Trinity Three. glass goon caps. Oh, God, what, what is she tip them over? Yeah, They're, it's just because I I think it's a goon food just a heavy on one side. She and tried to blame you, Yeti. She totally <laughs> did. She's like, That's this fucking coil. She keeps fucking top heavy. It open. I mean, over. <laughs> <laughs> I I can honestly say I I've never had that complaint before. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at her like you fucking crazy motherfucker. I I won't even be near it. It's the cat soon. Well, the cat. Oh, oh my God! First it's Yeti, now it's the cats. Oh, this girl's fucking out of her mind. I um, just need a metal cat. A, a you broke cat. that too. No, that was different. <laughs> the goon food broke that. Oh my God! <laughs> when I was installing the goon food, it, it said nope. Oh Lord. Hey, so I've also been vaping. I, I can't even get through what I've been vaping yet. I've been vaping uh, Dinner Lady, uh, Lemon Tart. If you haven't had a chance to try Lemon Tart by Dinner Lady, this is one of the best e-liquids yeah. that's ever been made. It's really, 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 really good. Boom, boom, boom. I and, don't um, even remember what I have this in. Trinity Glass Caps, uh, now now known as Trinity Glass Hardware, um, they're a great company. If you guys haven't had a chance to try some of their stuff, um, pretty, pretty affordable glass caps, $20 about, uh, depending on what RDA you want it for. Um, highly recommend them. I don't know if you're Goon Cap. No, this this actually fits the Twisted Masses Pro. And then they also make this mod. There's one that I was just bragging about earlier. They make this mod and this RDA. So, highly recommend them. I was showing it because it isn't fogged up yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they have, and they're affordable. Their caps yeah. are very yeah. affordable. Yeah. But not bad. I love, I love those guys, and uh, they're, they're they're under new management now, and they're trying they're trying some new stuff. So um, go check them out. Well, they even said they were having a hard time um, with the goon cat. Well, because the first one that she got, uh, the O rings didn't perfectly. fit perfectly. No, the first one fit perfectly. Yeah, but I broke that one. Yeah, <sighs> and then after that, it was like it was terrible, terrible. they just gave me new. Um, they gave me O rings that didn't fit, and then I had to find O rings. It's just, they, they said they were having a really hard time making the goon cat to where they fit just the goon. Oh, and then last but not least, uh, Rainbow Road by Vape Taser. This is my favorite cereal vape ever. Rainbow Road. Check it out. It's a I good shit. Banana bondage and um, a kilo cereal milk, which does not taste like cereal milk. It's more of a lemon e-liquid to me. <laughs> that's like an that's such an old e-liquid. That's why I'm... I thought I was gonna get some yummy cereal milk. Lemony. It is so lemony. Ugh. What do you got there? Yeah, and I put it in my squonk, so now I'm stuck with it for a while. You got a daddy stand. Where'd you get that? Yeah. Up? Uh, from, from Jesse Strucker from Stand Up 3D. Uh, oh. He started. Yeah. yeah his. His 3D printing business. He sent me. Uh, he sent home a couple Addy stands. Uh, he sent that one. I really like that one. This one's one of his modular style. I like that a lot. Yeah, you can stack them. Yeah. How well, you can stack them however you want. It's it's pretty cool. This these, these won't these won't stay in, but the other ones are they screw in. Oh, okay. I like that a lot. This is all yeah. I got. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get I didn't get a pin. <laughs> awesome. 
to be, fa- to be to be fair, this is all I asked for, though. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want. Um, I'm definitely going to grab me some of those. I mean, this is like me and Panda did like a whole 20 minutes on one of our shows one time about Addy stands, and so um, we've been using fucking stupid fidget spinners, which work pretty well, actually. I'm not going to lie; they, they, they work. They take a lot of space, though. They take up way too much space for only holding three atomizers. You're taking up a lot of a lot of fucking real estate. So, what do you uh, drill the drill hole in the? No, the, the actual fidget? little um, the little they outside o rare the little outside um, rings. They yeah. fit five tens perfectly on them. Show us. Okay, I will. Bring a nice pink one out. <laughs> what is it? The spinner. Fidget spinner, I guess. Spinners. Oh yeah. And it's kind of like a lazy Susan because it, you can like spin it well. Oh, go up. They can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> And it spins like you can connect them so they all spin around. So there's a hole in the in the spinner. Yeah. yeah. On, on th- there's three holes. Oh, okay. And it just boom sits right there. Oh, all right. it's, that's kind of cool. Some of them have holes in the middle too, where you can put one in the middle. But just those. Shit. Yikes. Um. But yeah, these work okay, but they take up a lot of room to hold three atomizers. And then uh, we were looking at those magnetic ones. Um, that are, all, you know, admittedly are pretty fucking cool, but they are really expensive. And yeah, yes, the ones I, where you can just make any kind of designs and you can fit them anywhere, but they are expensive. And yes, Zach Johnson, it's called a bearing. I lost my fucking mind for a second. Exactly, Yeti. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah, my favorite. A lot of them laying around. This is my yeah. favorite build stand. I like that a lot, actually. That's cool. Mine too. I need a build stand. I want one to hold for when you're building. I'm going to get you. I've already been looking at one of the Tenderfoot stands I'm going to get for you. Yeah. For building. Yeah, you better get it quick. Nice. Those things don't last. I know. I know. They do not stick around very long. Yes, Jesse Stucker. It would be a lazy vapor instead of a lazy Susan. <laughs> and, um, you know, what I want, though, is I wanted to, uh, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Stand Up 3D is going to do atomizer stands that also uh, have mod, mech mod, uh, holes as well. Yeah. He's got some. Okay, I gotta check. I don't out. know. If, I don't know if that's what he's putting out, but I know he's got some some prototypes that has uh, Addy stands on them. Well, standard um, 3D in the chat. So I want want something like that, except we're in the middle. I want fucking to put my goddamn mech mods in there. There hit you go. Up. Hit me up. I want to. I want to. I want to see what you got. Standard 3D. Excellent. This isn't the 666 model, but it'll work. It'll work. Yeah, I need some of that shit in my life. Big time. <laughs> yeah, we do. We take up a lot of space in our closet. Uh, we have a whole closet. It's a vaping closet, which is great to have that area, but um, we're already out of room, and we're getting shit all the time. So, uh, yeah. I actually like don't buy things that I want just because I don't have room to fucking put them. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, I got this badass new mod. Just be on the building table. All of his stuff, all the stuff. Tell me why this this mod has fucking tumors growing on it. <laughs> I, this is like I, I'm so baffled by this design because it looks nice. Head. It like, looks nice, right? But then it has these fucking tumors on the side, and it doesn't like it doesn't do anything ergonomically. It just gets in the way. Are they, are they squishy? Nope. No. Hard as a rock. Are they rocks? Nope. They're they look, they look like printed. they look like pebbles. Kind of. It's the Arctic Dolphin, is what this mod is. It's actually a really, really nice fucking mod for being a regulated but mod. But it, it's the battery area is rough. Like definitely, you're gonna tear some battery wraps. It's really hard to put the fucking batteries in. And I got this new tank uh, from EH Pro. It's the Bellow X. This is a really, really nice uh, rebuildable tank atomizer. It hits like a beast. Speaking of batteries, did you get? The, did you try yours yet? I haven't got mine yet. You haven't got them. Mm-mm. Well, they need batteries. Yeah, they're, so. they're awesome. These are the thirty T's Samsungs. So they're the the new end all be all battery fit in the. I got them for my uh, Dreamer mod. They're 2700s or what? 
21 21700s. 21700s. Okay. But but they're good ones. Excellent. Nice. <laughs> I have yet to fuck around with any 21700s or any of those 26650s. 2650s. 2650s. Dave Foot, what's happening, brother? Um, yeah, not me. I don't have any. I don't think we could E-C- find E-C- any. I think everyone was like sold out. Of yeah, them. We were, when, when we were buying our 20, 2700s, uh, yeah, we were having a hard time finding it. Fuck, we had a hard time just finding the 2700s. So. Yeah. That's all the shit, babe. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's 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 hooked into my keypad i forgot <laughs> um so yeah so what's been going on tell me some stories from the fucking detroit like tell me uh what you guys see that you was was new and exciting <laughs> nothing um, T- tvl has a new line yeah, a, a, a bargain basement line. Yeah, <laughs> junk line. Well, well also, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there. The they're, they're I, I looked at the uh, the RDA. I looked at it pretty close, and it looks like a pretty, a pretty decent RDA. Um, I did not look at the mod. Uh, the mod was pretty hideous. Um, Do we know who's actually doing the manufacturing in China for these? Uh, they did. They didn't say. Well, actually, hang on, um, because I talked to Mr. TVL himself, and uh, the first batch um, of mods were made in the United States. They had to make them in the United States. So basically, if you get them, if you get them now, it's a U.S. made device. Okay. But in the future, after this shipment is done, they'll, they're all made in China. So that you know they're legal reasons why he had to do that well i guess uh, we'll, we'll just clear it up real quick what we're talking about is a tbl which is like a premium high-end mod company if you guys don't know like mech mods um they're coming out with a line of mods that are going to be a little less expensive um like the colt 45 shit like that they've made uh, a lot of mods over the years um but they're gonna make a, like a mod a line of mods that's a little less expensive that's going to be made overseas specifically in china so plan b plan b that's what it's called so uh yeah that is, um, I mean, that's something. I think seventeen ninety nine for the batteries. Oh, yeah, they, they those batteries aren't cheap. Yeah, it's like buying a mod. But it was, uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, he he, uh, uh, his thinking actually made sense. You know, I mean, I don't know why he, he's just now coming up with it, but you know, because you know, TVL are pretty pretty high end. Yeah, mods. You know, they're 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 pretty expensive. Um, and he was like, you know, well, there's this other market. You know, the the more affordable affordable market. You know, that's not even being touched. He's like, you know, why not get both both you know areas? I'm like, yeah, duh. <laughs> you know, that that makes perfect fucking sense. Yeah, you but know? how I mean, somebody how might, low are they gonna be? Did they have, did you see pricing for this? No, I didn't. I didn't ask prices on it. I wasn't that interested in it, honestly. To yeah, ask prices. <laughs> I'm just interested because people are always asking about like affordable mech mods, yeah. and you don't want to give them. You don't want to. I don't like to guide people towards clones all the time. Um, if somebody wants something authentic, it's like, uh, like what can they get? So I'm always saying like the Dreamer is one yeah, of them. Dreamer, it's kick ass. Dreamer's it's definitely the best uh, value to performance on the on, on the market right now. DJ LSB, what's happening? Um, so yeah, I think that's the one I was got to afford. But there's a lot of mods in that range, actually. You know what I mean? Um, like this, the US mod is about it's a little, well, it's a little bit more, but it's in that same range. And uh, yeah, also like the um, Sub Zero from uh, Subum Innovations, it's in the same range as the price. So um, if it's if it's going to be in that range, like around between 100 and 150, um, I don't. I guess I don't really see the the point of that because their mod, their mods aren't that much more expensive. Their mods are about in that range, like 150 to 250 dollars. Yeah. Well, we don't know the pricing yet, so yeah. we'll have to wait. But knowing them, I doubt they're going to be 20 bucks. Definitely not. I'm looking for it. But I mean, if it was like 75 to 100, then I yeah. I could see the value in that. You know. Hopefully. Affordable. There we go. 
I don't mind spending a hundred dollars on a mod. It's just when I I don't like to spend two hundred dollars on a mod. That's where I start to get a little uncomfortable. You know. Timekeepers are good. Well, yeah, yeah Timekeepers are a fucking great mod. Yeah, but then you're talking about the the authentics for a Timekeeper are crazy expensive. So yeah, five and six hundred dollars. Yep. Probably one of the most cloned mods in existence is the Timekeeper as well. You see a uh, lot of those clones out there. <sighs> no luck finding anything? No, I can't find anything. Damn it. Nah, that's all right. I, I knew they were pretty. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not, not they're out there, anyways. So. Yeah. But, you know, that's something to look out for. I mean, uh, just because, here's the thing just because uh, something's made in China. That does not necessarily mean I'm not going to be interested in it. It's just going to depend on the price and the quality. I want to see somebody come out and uh, and see uh, see what's up with that. And uh, since DJ LSP is here, I want to say that I watched his last video on that. Uh, I forget the name of the mech mod and that RDA that he did a review of. And I fucking thought it was great. I thought it was really great. It was really nice to see somebody be honest about shit for once. So, yeah, DJ's uh, always DJ's always honest. Yeah, yeah. He tells it how it is. It was just nice to see him get get a little bit uh, worked up over something. It was it was fucking cool. It was funny. Oh, I guess stand up is live already. He didn't bother to tell us that. Oh wow! So go get your go get your Addy stand. Oh, well, you can purchase yeah. now. Standup3d.com. Nice. Cool. Hell yeah. Didn't bother okay. to tell us that, Jesse. <laughs> yeah. He's, Totally, sort of. Um, so Church uh, said, "What's what the fuck's up with the studded TVLs? Those are the you want to talk about ugly. Me and Yeti were talking before we went live. Um, they have a new mod, and it's called um, I forget the name of the studded one, but they have one that's called uh, the High Roller, which is like basically like a bunch of dice stacked up. I really like it. It's ugly, but I, there's something about it that's very appealing to me. Uh, but they have another one that just has a bunch of black studs in it, and that fucking thing is hideous. Absolutely. Well, it's also cross hatched too." And then yeah. it's got the studs going on. It looks like a pineapple under yeah. the sea. Looks like a pineapple under the sea dildo. It's not attractive. <laughs> really offensive. It is offensive. That's a good word. That's we tried to get Yeti to hold the high roller, but he wouldn't. I fucking I messaged him while you guys were there and told him, please yeah. go look at TVLs and look at the high roller for me. <laughs> I was right there. He looked at it all right from about five feet. I knew he was going to be a that's hater. As, that's as close as he would get to it. <laughs> I, I, so I really, really want one. I think I'm actually going to get one. I physically tried to hand it to him, and he would not take it. Did, 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 did you actually hold it? Yeah, I, I held it. What do you I, think? Uh, I ended up holding it. Did you touch it? Yeah, I went back later. Oh, I can't believe it. What do you think about it? Yes? Um, How did it go in the hand? Yeah. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, <laughs> but in a, but in a oh. good way, you know. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Come on. All I can say is I think it's ugly. I I just I can only imagine how many quality, beautiful pieces of hardware they could have made out of that chunk of brass. Oh, come on. That's okay, beautiful. here. You want me to say one nice thing about it? Yes. The machining on it is amazing. Yeah. Because yeah. to cut all those different angles in there, I don't know how the hell they did it. But yeah. As far as it's aesthetically pleasing, <laughs> it's it's not aesthetic. I don't like so much crap in the hand. I, you know, I, I'm and just going to... The pineapple mod too. It's just like, no, not for me. Definitely, that pineapple mod is fucking hideous, and I agree with that. And um, the sad thing is, this probably a little bit feels a little bit better in the hand than the high roller does, because it doesn't have all these sharp angles and shit. But it's, I don't got, know. it's got sharp uh, fucking bolts sticking out of yeah, it though. It does, yeah. Screw heads. That's yeah. another one not comfortable. Huh? TVL. 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 Yeah. No, TVL. I mean, they make some awesome stuff. It's just the the ones you're talking about. I have to side with Yeti on them. 
TVL's yeah. always kind of done their own thing with mods. And even if you look at some of their older mods, like at the time that those mods came out, they were very much against the grain as far as what was popular. Like uh, when things like the Colt 45 and shit came out, um, this was what mech mods looked like. You know what I mean? Like 99 out of 100. But then all of a sudden, you know, we get a little bit more variation now. But um, TBL was, has always kind of done their own thing, which I appreciate. I really do. Because uh, mech mods can be very boring, you know? Well, can, look at some of the, I mean, look at the what Purge has been doing. I mean, they yeah. have just some crazy machining on their mods. Yeah. You know, I'd love to have one, but. That yeah. stuff is uh, not for the faint of heart if you don't have a big pocketbook. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. No, I mean, that's, if, I would never recommend somebody's only mech mod, like their first mech mod, to be something outlandish like that because it's going to leave you like a – you're not going to have a good impression probably after that. I can't find it. I'll show you later. It's just, it looks like a bunch of dice stacked together, made out of metal. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. You, maybe you would like it. I don't know. I think I would. I think I would. It's and very everybody, sharp. It's got sharp edges on it, and it's not a comfortable mod. <laughs> Sounds like right up my alley. Um, everybody, go to Adore E-Liquid tonight, and uh, everybody gets laid at Adore E-Liquid. Everybody gets laid. Tonight only, though. So go check them out. Hell yeah. Church just lays, Church is laying down the law. He says, I have no desire to own a TVL or Purge. Good for you, brother. Good for you. Right. Well, high end mech mods, that's a whole nother subject because they are, this hits just as well. As your four, six hundred dollar purge. Let's see. I think that. I agree. I think I think of the Dreamer as a high end mech mod. Everything about it to me says high end mech mod. Just the price is the only thing that is not high end. You know. I love this thing. It takes all the batteries. It's uh, comfortable. It's got smooth corners. Yep. You know, it's just awesome. It hits like a dream. The button's great. Um, Plus, you can run those big purple batteries in there. It, yeah, doing all the different batteries is amazing. Uh, it's just, there's a few things. Um, I mean, you, you, I don't want to say anything bad about it. It's, it's a great mod. Um, the materials, could they be a little bit higher quality? Like, could, this, could the two be of a higher quality? I yeah. don't think so. I think it could. I think this is one of the best brass mods I own. Well, I have the copper one, so. Oh, I can't speak for that one. Yeah, it's a great fucking mod. I mean, you, you don't, you, a hundred percent. It is the best performance for the value on the market. There's not even a question. Yes, Don, you are gonna be tired by morning time because tonight, tonight only at Adore Liquid, everybody gets late. Just gotta go buy some. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's show some coils, and then we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna we're gonna call it a uh, short show tonight. Not a shit show, just a short show. Um, so let me open up the coil picks here, and we're coming up on show number sixty nine. And uh, on that show, everybody gets laid too. So just so everybody knows, stick around for that. Oh, wrong one. Hey, what the hell was that? Hold on a second. Link. Oh, um, there's this really cool thing on. Um, <laughs> there's this really cool thing on uh, Facebook Messenger now. It's called Blink, where you can uh, basically you can uh, tell it to remind you of things, and it will text message you later on about those things. And so I put some very um, uh, some nasty things in it, and uh, just to see if it would actually text me <laughs> nasty things, and it did. And so every night now at eight o'clock, I get uh, nasty text messages from this little bee. This little blink bee. Okay, here we go. Share screen. <laughs> little oh, reminders. Okay. Little reminders to be a nasty man. Okay, we're going to start with Travis. Um, that's me. So, uh, if anybody has not been following the yeah. saga of Travis's attempt to do alien coils, um, last night, uh, or night before, 
uh, I broke and I was finally able, like the, like the curse broke, it lifted from my fucking head and I was able to finally make alien coils. It just happened. And um, since then, um, every time I try it, uh, it's getting better and better and better. And um, nice, you nice butt plug. Uh, a really good video from um, the alien maker. <coughs> And so there's the there's one that I made. Um, it's, ta -da! Ta -da! it's not you know it's not super clean, but it's getting better and better every time. And so um, this is and a you uh, managed to get pubes inside it. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be a Travis coil without pubes. It's like um, yeah, magical. <laughs> this is a three times twenty four gauge uh, Canthal cores, and I only use Canthal for the cores because I, I didn't want to waste any more nichrome. And then it has uh, thirty two gauge nichrome wraps. The 32 gauge did help as well, like just using a bigger gauge and yeah. using that. He's giving me his first, his first real alien. Well, his second, because he has a set. I didn't, I know, I was able to make aliens in the past. I was able to make a couple sets, but um, just, it was just, just randomly it would happen. And it wasn't like on purpose. And, uh, so this time it was actually on purpose. So, And I'm able to make them now. I don't know why I have two pictures of the same quote, but that's, it's the point. Okay, and this is something uh, else that I made um, just for fun. This is a stick of wire um, that I made. Somebody called it monkey ladder. I think that's a good name for it. And that's my... That's it my, does look like little monkeys on it. It's my secret process there. If somebody can figure it out, I'll give them, I'll give them a hug. It's pretty uh, easy to figure out, Travis. It's not either. It's yeah, it is. <laughs> So um, here is uh, <laughs> just, just think about what Travis, cool. is, what Travis has been trying to do lately. And I actually have a coil that I made out of that wire as well. So here's a regular stick of um, Clapton wire that I made and then a stick of uh, that monkey ladder wire next to it just for like, just so you can see how, you know, the size and stuff of it. It's a big ass fucking piece of wire in all reality. Yeah. And uh, here's the coil that I made out of it. It looks like it has an STD or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, like I don't, a bunch of DNAs. I that think it's awesome. Away. I just wouldn't vape it. No, I haven't. I have not installed it in anything yet, so no. it's not going to be a good vape or anything. No, bad, <laughs> bad, bad STD bad. vape. And then here's another uh, coil that I made. I just like the picture, the way the picture came out. I thought it looked really cool. And all, the, all that happened here was I was trying to make um, fuse Claptons and my swivels locked up. And so it twisted the, the core wires and it fucked everything up. But it actually looked kind of cool when it was done. So I took a picture of it. I thought it was all right. And I got good swivels finally. I got a pair. Uh, got a, a pair. I got a set of um, the uh, ball bearing swivels. And it helped. That was another thing that really, really helped with the aliens was having I, I dependable you, swivels. The only next thing he needs is a better drill because I can actually hear when he messes up. And, and his drill just goes too fast, wrong. It's it goes from like zero to sixty too fast. You know what I mean? Like from from, from the lowest power to the highest power is it's like Once a matter of millimeters. Drill, he'll be making perfect aliens. It's all about the drill. Oh, I lost the coils. Okay, here we go. And then we'll go to Yeti. Yeti only sent one fucking picture, but it's a beautiful fucking picture. Ooh, wow. that's pretty. It's like Celtic knots inside of fucking uh, yeah. beautiful. It almost looks like a painting that somebody did. That's really place. neat. <laughs> you need I, some, give, I give Yeti the coil wars win for yeah, uh, he won. the show tonight. He definitely won. With all the fuck ups that are on that? Yep, even so. Even so. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't. Is there any pubes in it? Nope. Nope. No, uh, disqualified. So. Disqualified. You're I gonna would fucking love a pee. <laughs> and make make it like a picture. There you go. Not that. Hey, oh, there's some pubes over there. Oh, uh, cat fur. No, isn't. No. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but no, no he pubes. fucked up. <laughs> and these are some of the coils that were sent to me by uh, the good guy over there. His name's Wirefreak83 on Instagram. You guys go check him out. And this is a six core alien that he sent me. Wow. Four wrap, three millimeter. Uh, good, damn good vape. Damn good vape. I'm sure. I like more cores. That's what I want. More cores. And he's just a solid dude. And he's uh, he's going to be selling uh, 
uh, coils pretty soon, and I will uh, link to that when we get um, the website. And here it is, wicked up and juicy. Yeah, that's whose coils I have in my um, squat. He sent me. It was funny because like he, I'm like, uh, he sent me all aliens. Like he makes different shit, but he all he sent me was a bunch of aliens, and I'm like, oh, uh, he's been watching the show. He knows what's going on. <laughs> He knows I'm struggling. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever made a six four alien. That's freaking. It was six times six times twenty nine, I think. Six times or twenty seven, one of those. Uh, it was an odd. It was an odd. An odd uh, wire. That's ambitious. Yeah, uh, a lot of his coils that he does. Uh, I mean, that's that's kind of like what uh, caught my eyes. He does a lot of um, high core aliens. Yeah. And he does, and you know, do like the four wrap around a three millimeter, like that's that's totally my speed. And he does, um, which a lot of people don't. Um, uh, Yeti will, uh, and Wire Freak will as well. So I do coils that are below 0. 0.1 and give to people. Um, I like that. I like that. The one, the six core one, was uh, 0. 0.08 was the ohms for a dual the dual coil setup. Oh. So um, and you know, I I know what I'm doing. So. Uh, <laughs> I want a fucking low on coil. That's what I yeah. want, you know? And um, I, when somebody sends me coils that are like 0.15, I just have to, I just unwrap them. I just take fucking wraps off until I get to where I want to be. So, you know. It kind of messes it up a little bit. It definitely messes it up. Yeah. It up. Especially if they pinched it nicely and everything, and then you got to unwrap it. I like your butt plug uh, drip tip. <laughs> This is a GD bottle jet tip. It's huge. Butt plug. Yeah, I was the first one to uh, have the idea of getting stuff to torture Yeti with. And then uh, it just got progressively worse as the yeah. weekend went on. But I am the only one who legitimately uses things that Yeti doesn't like, like this. Like Yeti, <laughs> just look at that. Even I think that that is unpleasant. That's fucking gross. Can you <laughs> just fucking gross. Nudge twenty two. That looks so ugly. Oh my god. It works good though. You could have made such a two, maybe even three gorgeous strip tips out of that piece. Oh yeah. Oh. That is, that is <laughs> this I, I actually like this strip tip. It's awesome. I don't doubt it. Well, it's, yeah. as big as, it's as big as the fucking atomizer is. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It looks good, doesn't it? No. no, it don't. Come on now. <laughs> it's appalling. I bet it hits good though. It's glorious. Absolutely. Top hat. <laughs> Yeti likes it secretly. <laughs> like a mushroom. No. Yeah, he just wanted to admit it. Stuff her up your butt. <laughs> Stuff okay. up your butt. Stuff her up your butt. Stuff her up your butt. Okay. All right, well, you know, I think that'll about do it. We'll stop with stuff her up your butt. And, uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody on the on the panel tonight. Uh, Yeti, Gizzard, Panda, all you guys are great. Um, there's links to Panda's channel on and Gizzard's channel on my channel. You guys can just click the links and follow them to their channels. Um, Yeti's, I think Yeti's channel is on there, too. If it's not if it's not, it will be. Okay, Mad Dog wants to know, is it comfortable on the mouth, Gizzard? <laughs> quite. Mm, quite. I would think it would be because it's like... It's awesome. Look at that thing. It's awesome. No, it's, a, it's fucking ugly. It I, is really ugly. I think it would be comfortable to vape off of, though. You would love it. I like stuff like that, though. Like, yeah, you do. It's custom. Nice. Be a little big. That's what she said. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Um, I want to thank everybody who watched tonight. Everybody who's in the chat. You guys are the best. Um, sorry about missing last week, and we almost missed this week. But I just knew that if we didn't do a show, you guys would fucking riot. So um, we did a show. And I want to thank all, all the uh, all the, the superstars out there who came by to say hello to us. Don from Adore Liquid, go check out Adore E Liquid um, and get yourself some free booty tonight only. Everybody get <laughs> played. So 
Um, also, go check out Yeti Wire, obviously, www.yetiwire.com. Um, go check out Stand Up 3D. That's www.standup3d.com, right? Is that what it is? Stand Up. So for all your all your atomizer stand needs. And who else can we plug? Um, Black Cat White Face has a YouTube channel. Go check him out on YouTube. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, DGLSB, he stopped by and said hello. Um, go check him out on YouTube. He doesn't need our help, obviously. He's a fucking guy almost has 200,000 subscribers. So um, definitely doesn't need our help. But go check him out anyways. He does a great show. So, And that's about it. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Enjoy Bye. Your day. I can't leave this. I have to stay and listen to that song forever. Get off your bus. Get off your bus.